Welcome to my channel today. We are going to make Valentine linen, but you could do it on tea towels as well, um, hand painted. Um, these, this is a guest towel, a linen one with the hem stitch. Um, but you could do the tea towel. I did that as well, and I'll show you that a little bit later. But what you'll need is some acrylic paints. So I've got a variety of pinks and peach and red and white. I'm going to add some gold. You can use any metallic gold that you have. And some water, some paint brushes. And, ooh, I got to get the medium out. Hold to, oh, don't forget your water. And the medium. So this one's been painted all over, but basically it says Deco Art Fabric Painting Medium Textile Medium. I'll put the link below, but you need this to add on your palette that you mix the paints with, and this just ensures that it's going to um, create a permanent um, paint on your linens. So let's get started. All right, so I will put the link below, but I got these linen, they're, they're quite, they've gone up a lot since I ordered mine. Um, but I'll put my link, the link below. These are linen um, guest towels that you would put in a powder room or whatever. I'm doing these for a friend. She is uh, giving them to her friends, her valentines, her relatives. But you need a piece of cardboard that you can slide up in um, to protect the rest of the textile or the linen. And I just use whenever I get um, packing, I just always cut it up. So I have tons of varieties of backings and I keep those. And then what we're gonna do is, I like to start out by using um, fabric pins markers. And these are the ones I have. I will also put the link below, but I'm gonna get out this red, this pink, this pink is a little bit bright. It's almost um, neon, so I'm not going to get it. I think that's all I'm going to get for now. And I get those because I use these because it's nice to, like, draw the shape. It, it's, it's easier than with the paintbrush, and it doesn't. It's just easier for me. All right, let's have fun with this. Uh, remember that when you're doing these guest towels for a powder room or whatever, the part that you're really only going to see is this part right here. So honestly, this is not tea towels. You can paint the whole thing and it will be appreciated. But for a guest towel, really right here is probably your, your main area. So... The only request was that they would be valentine and hearty. So that makes it pretty easy. So this first one, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to do a few hearts and I'm doing red outlines. And let's see. Might do a couple of small ones on this side. You want to make sure you keep it balanced, right? So because the this is bigger and then that's a little medium size, and then this is small, I'm gonna go ahead and do another little smaller one right here. So that I really do utilize about the same space. There, can you see that? All right, so, and I think, I think on this one, I think I'm going to do kisses and um, kiss, kiss, hug, hug, XX, whatever it is. Um, 
but let's paint it first and then I'll come back to that. All right, so we're gonna go over here to the paint and I'm gonna start out, I think, with this brush, this type of brush. It's a flat brush. Um, it's a short handle, which is what I like. And we're going to, I'm gonna dip into the light pink first. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix the medium with the pink. Get my brush all in there, okay. So I'm gonna do this this medium one first. And you don't wanna clump it in, you want to definitely get it all in the fibers, spread it out, because that's a big little clump there. Let's take it back over here and get some of this off. And just fill it in. Okay, I've got a little round brush that I'm now going to bring in. Okay, and try not to put this in water. Um, I would, um, because that sort of dilutes what we're trying to do. Okay, so I'm trying to fix it so you guys can see what I'm doing over here as well. So I'm gonna now pick up this red with this little round brush. Get some of that medium over here. I'll pull in some pink, pink. Okay, pull in a little more medium. And the medium doesn't change. It may loosen the paint, which is good, makes it thinner. And now I'm going to go back over here, and we're going to kind of go up to the edges a little bit. I want to get those edges so that they didn't look like marker and not paint. And all right, while I've got it, I'm going to go ahead with this. Go ahead and do the bigger one. And so all I'm doing is just putting the paint up to, and I'm not cleaning my brush. I think it's important that um, with this one, this project, I just want the reds and the pinks to co-mingle as best they can. I'll pull this bright, this uh, medium pink, getting it all up, up to that fabric marker. You might wonder, for those of you who um, watched me uh, last year, we painted some tea towels, I think. Um, and those were a huge success during the holiday season. I sold a ton of those. Um, I've since used one that I have washed repetitively um, through the whole season, more than I do my regular tea towels, and um, it's still just as bright and pretty as it was when I painted it, so that's good. All right, so this, I'm trying to give this a medium here that um, I feel like this is kind of weird right there. I'm going to have to come back to it in a minute. If you get too much on your brush, just take it and wipe it on a paper towel. I'm going to bring in some white now, a little bit of white with a little bit of light pink with the medium and get that into this little one just because I don't want it to be all dark. I want some lighter colors and once I get all my pinks in, I'm going to come back and add some pretty gold in there. 
Just each time you go and get paint, make sure you dip it in the medium. And that's really the only thing you need to remember. Acrylic, if you've ever gotten acrylic on your clothes, paint, you know it doesn't come out once it dries. Um, it's, I mean, I've got paint shirts everywhere to prove that, but I think, um, when we're doing, um, gifts for others, where you're selling something, you want to make sure hundred percent it's not going to fade. Um, so that's why I add this medium just to be double sure. Okay. So that's a peach, all right? So let's come back over here. See if I can get a little bit of the light pink with some white. Let's get back in here. It gets kind of muddy, which is not what I wanted, but um, it is what it is. I just let it go and do its thing, honestly. Can you believe we just came off Christmas and now we're doing Valentine's Day stuff? Wow. Almost seems insane. But that's life. It goes fast. You gotta love all those days. Okay. So I've got a lot of color. And for the most part, I feel like the outline sort of goes in with the color. It doesn't look too weird. Okay, I'll put a little bit of light in that one. Let me come back with a medium peachy color in here. So it doesn't look quite so stark. Okay, there we go. All right, so We've got our four hearts happening. So now I'm gonna, over here, I'm going to, all right, so now the last thing I'm gonna do is I got the, some of the metallic, put it in the, um, and I just wanna add a little lusciousness to each of these. And I encourage you to do it different. It doesn't need to look the same. Um, and then maybe just a little dab there. All right. Whoops. There we are. Well, there's my little dab. All right. So now I'm going to take... Um, a, pos a Posca pen, which is gold. And I think I'm going to write X, X, O. Because I think, how fun, right? X, X, O, X, O. All right, so now... It's linen, so it, it does it does struggle. It bleeds a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in here and make very specific lines. Okay. Linen's the hardest one to work with when you're trying to write things. But it works. You can do it. If you had a gold Sharpie, that works. This works a little bit better, I think, because um, the tip is a little bit um, a little better. Okay, there you go. All right, then I always come back with the paint that I'm using and with the medium, going over it just a little bit, just so it just all looks about the same. 
think that's really important. Okay. And I think too, I think y'all, I like this, but I think I'm going to even be sillier and maybe dip it in the gold, pick up the medium, and then I think I'm going to do some little, yes, like that. Almost looks like little, tiny little gold hearts. There. Can you see that? Maybe one over here. Okay, there you have it. A little fun, not a big deal, but it certainly looks very, very happy during the holiday season uh, of Valentine's Day. Get some loving in your spot and Join me next week. We'll be doing something a little bit different, but definitely enjoy um, the next few days, and I'll see you next week with something different. Hey, do a thumbs up. Thumbs up, please. And subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one.